Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeanette. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's awesome to have you, especially if you have just subscribed to my channel. Uh, today I'm taking you guys back to school. I am showing you guys everything that I got my two kids for the new school year 2022. I have been doing tons of home goods and TJ Maxx shop throughs and hauls, specifically Halloween stuff, and that's because the season is upon us. So if Halloween is right around the corner, that means that back to school is even closer than that. So today's video is gonna be short and sweet. The list wasn't very long for the things that I needed for my kids back to school. However, I did get them some really cool items. I got them a few backpacks from Pottery Barn Kids, um, some new lunch bags and lunch boxes from Simple Modern, a couple of water bottles, some snack bags, and then just some essentials that uh, Max, my five-year-old, had on his list for back to school. So just a quick introduction if you guys don't know my kiddos. I have a daughter named Penelope. She's two and a half. She's in daycare. She goes three times a week. And my son Maximilian is just going into kindergarten. He just turned five in May and we're super excited for him to start this new chapter. Okay, for their backpacks this year, I decided to go with something a little bit pricier than Target backpacks just because the ones last year completely fell apart before the school year even ended. So I decided to pay a little bit more for a backpack. I've heard great things from Pottery Barn Kids, so I don't mind it in that aspect because if this can last me two years, I'm a happy camper. This one is the Mandalorian, and the reason why this is a super winner is because not only is it spacious and functional, but it also glows in the dark. I haven't tried it, but it's Pottery Barn Kids. I'm sure it's gonna work. You have the different characters on there, and then you also have, you know, the little space uh, crafts and all that. And then here, um, you have two features that are snaps. So this is kind of nice. If you need to clip, you know, an additional bag on here, you totally can. If you want to clip their lunch box or lunch bag, you totally can, as long as the lunch bag has a handle. Um, so this is kind of a nice feature that I liked from the backpack. So that's what the front pocket looks like there. You have a little, you know, like a little key hook here. And then it has a couple of compartments here. Um, and again, guys, this is considered the large backpack. If you want to see what the tag looks like, uh, those are the features there or what the bag is described as. It does have cushioning on the pads. It does have cushioning on the back part of the backpack. So this is going to be a very comfortable backpack for your kiddo. There you have it. It's very spacious. I'm going to be able to fit his lunch bag in here, a folder, because that's really all he needs, a notebook, and then a couple of essentials for the day. He is five, so I know you're thinking, why didn't you get him the small one? Max is a big kid. Max is like the size of, of a six or seven year old, honestly, and he can use a bigger backpack. A lot of times we also have to send a change of clothes or an extra pair of shoes. We're in a state where it's, you know, we, we have like true winter. So sometimes we'll send them with his snow boots, but then he'll want to change into his sneakers at school. So this bag will be big enough to accommodate all that stuff. Also very important, it has two drink holders. So you have this side here and then you have a bonus side here. The backpacks that I got last year, I feel like they only had one pocket. I can't think off the top of my head how much I spent retail, but I will put the price up here in case you're interested. And of course, I will also link it below in the description box if you're interested in picking this up. For Miss Penelope, I got her the Frozen backpack. This is the small version. So this one has the Frozen print on there. You have Olaf, Elsa, Anna. She's really obsessed with Frozen right now. So I thought this print would be perfect. Look at right there back on the strap. You have Anna and Elsa giving each other a little hug, which I thought was great. Same features, padded shoulder straps padded uh, back so going to be very comfortable not that she ever really carries her own backpack I am going to open the big pocket the large pocket so you can see what it looks like inside there it does have a few pockets here on this side and it is a generous size for a small backpack so this is the Mackenzie and the small backpack that's the tag I can show you what it looks like there and it says it's perfect for students from 42 to 48 inches tall if that helps you out there you go. I did pick up a couple of lunch bags for the kids for the new school year. I decided to go with Simple Modern. There's so many cool bags out there right now. It was really, really hard to pick, but I just love the designs and the reviews were fantastic. And I've been buying a lot of the stuff from this brand, Simple Modern. Guys, the prints were just fantastic. So I went ahead and I got Penny the Frozen and then I got Max here, uh, the Mandalorian, which isn't exactly the same collection from Pottery Barn. Obviously they're different brands, so it won't be the exact print, but the theme is the same so who's gonna know any better right they're insulated they have a nice little adjustable strap here on top that is the tag there that's what it looks like I will go ahead and open this up so you guys can see the specs 
of the lunch bag. It has like a nice silver metallic insulation. Even the uh, liner there on the insulation has the print. It does have the little mesh compartment here on this side and it is zipped. This is a wonderful pocket. You can put utensils, napkins, condiments, whatever extra stuff your kids need for their lunchtime. Now the really cool feature on this bag is that right here it has a little Velcro strap which you can put the kids water bottle. So if you buy the Simple Modern lunchbox, theoretically it will fit in here with the Simple Modern water bottle. I bought these on Amazon.com. I bought them when they did the Prime sale. So they were very inexpensive. I want to say I got them for like $15. Yeah really good price. I don't think they're $15 now because the prime sale is over or the prime deal rather. Uh, but I'm sure that there's still a competitive price. This is like my favorite part. I think it's because I'm such a foodie and anything that contains food, I'm like, what's in the box? And I love packing my kids lunches in the morning. It's so much fun. Uh, but I did get the simple modern lunch boxes as well. Obviously for Miss Penelope, I wanted to get something along the lines of Disney princess. They did have the, um, Elsa frozen one. Uh, but the princess one was like $8 cheaper. I know. So I went ahead and I grabbed her the Disney princess one. And then for Mr. Max, this one is so cool. I'm sure they had a star Wars print, but I saw the Ninja Turtles one and I was like, that's the one for Max. All right. The features five compartments all together. Let me show you there. So you have a bigger compartment, two small ones, a little medium one, and then this long one here, which is really nice. I like that it has the rubber insulation here. So you know, when you shut the box, it's going to seal and the food isn't going to shift around in the compartments. I think this is really fantastic. A great size for any kid between uh, kindergarten and eight or nine years old, depending on how much your kid eats. Last year, I did pick up the Yum Box and the Bentco boxes, and they're fantastic. They're really nice boxes. I actually still have them. However, Bentco just released a new lunchbox that's slightly bigger. It's kind of like for kids that are, you know, nine, 10, 11 into their teen years. So I'm going to insert the picture and the name here. So if you guys are on the market for a slightly bigger lunchbox for your bigger kiddo, this is a great alternative and a great option. All right, of course, I still have to show you Penelope's. It is five-way compartment, durable, leak-proof, easy cleaning, and BPA-free. Very important. And then that is the inside of the princess box. So it's kind of like that beautiful mint green with clear. Also has that insulation so you know nothing is going to squish around when the box is closed and the kids are traveling to school. And that is the full print there on the Simple Modern Lunchbox. I did get a few uh, reusable sandwich bags just because I'm so tired of wasting plastic. It's, it's so unfortunate and sad. So I found these awesome Ninja Turtle bags that actually match Max's lunchbox. These are obviously also by Simple Modern. This is a three pack. It comes with the large bag, the medium bag, and the small bag. And these are great for snacks, pretzels, hippies, goldfish, all the snacks that they would want. Their sandwich will fit nicely in the bigger pouch. And these are washable. So you're going to reuse them a hundred times. And then these two here, I actually picked up in store at Target. I will link them below. I think they do have them online. You can also find them in the back to school section at Target. And then I got the dinosaur ones for Max and then the unicorn and pink stripes for Miss Penelope. Penelope needs a couple more water bottles. This is the Disney princess. So this will go nicely with her lunchbox. And then of course, this size box fits in the lunchbox in that little velcro um, strap let's test it out all right so there is the velcro strap on the lunchbox so I'm gonna go ahead and put the water bottle here okay, so that's the simple modern princess water bottle and then here is the simple modern lunchbox which there you go it fits right in perfectly everything fits great you still have some room for the utensils and napkins on the top and this is just a great set guys i really can't complain everything looks perfect and durable one more product by simple modern these are reusable pouches uh, they're called reusable joey food pouch it's a 10 pack easy to fill easy to clean and freezer safe and if you guys know the yogurt pouches at the grocery store are super duper expensive so i figured we can trick Penelope, buy the big container of strawberry yogurt, and fill the pouches up and pop them in her lunchbox. So I don't have to spend as much money on the yogurt pouches. I did get a two pack of the little ice packs. These are shaped like little penguins. Found these at Target, very good price. They had tons of different ice packs. The penguin, a square block, go to Target or Amazon. You can find ice packs for a very, very reasonable price. They even had Cat and Jack ones at Target. This was actually on Max's school list. Uh, they did request a headset. Um, he needs them for kindergarten. So I found these on Amazon. Five star review, pretty much. And they were so inexpensive. I got them on flash sale and I love the colors. I tried them on him and they fit him great. They don't get too loud. So they're not going to blast his ears out. And I, again, 
most importantly, highly reviewed. So I'm gonna link these below. The rest of the haul are things that were just on Max's uh, back to school list for kindergarten. Uh, these primary journals were on the list. They requested only two, but I did pick up three of them just to have for the school year in case he does need another one. I kind of like these because they're split so you can write a little story and then draw a picture on the top. So I thought these were so nifty and um, these are for grades K through two. They did request a few pencil pouches and boxes. Um, I think this one is going to stay in his cubby. This is exactly the one that they asked for, the dimensions and all. And then this one will probably go back and forth with him. Oh, I forgot about this. This is not necessarily back to school supplies, but I got this for Penny when I was shopping for back to school. How cute is this? I'm obsessed with the Golden Girls. They're like one of my favorite things. And I forgot this book was in here, so she's going to be super excited. It's called Goodnight Girls. Not back to school, but... I thought I'd share, super cute. All right, this I picked up for Penelope. It's not on a list. She's not measuring anything because the girl is just learning how to count, but it is a ruler and it has little characters on there and it's also a slap bracelet. How cool is that? It was only $1.99, so I figured I'd grab it for her. She's gonna love it. Glue sticks, am I right? They're on every single back to school list ever created. They're glue sticks. You, you guys know where I'm going with this. They also asked for some Fiskar scissors. Fiskars? Fiskars? Whatever. You guys you guys get my drift. These are ages 4 plus. Perfect for um, kindergarten. And these are the blunt tip. That's exactly what they asked for. And I got them on sale for 99 cents. Very good deal. Target. They also requested a palette of eight different colors. This specifically, actually, the Crayola washable watercolors. And then, this is just a little bonus for the kids. They don't need this for school, but I just thought they were super cute. I got Max and Penny a little pen. This one here is Spider-Man for Mr. Max. And then here we have Miss Black Widow for Penelope. So I thought these were super cool. They're part of that UB Marvel collection, which was kind of out last year. I don't know if this is like leftover from last year or if they actually made like a part two for a 2022. I don't know. The pens were cute, so I picked them up. We made it to the end of the haul. That's everything that I got my kids for back to school. I hope that you enjoyed the haul and I hope I was able to give you some ideas for some shopping. I am going to link everything below in case you're interested in anything from this haul for your kiddos. If you haven't subscribed and you're enjoying the content, please consider hitting that red subscribe button and liking this video. And guys, we're heading to Disney World. We're leaving in like two and a half weeks. So there's going to be a lot of Disney content coming up. I hope that is okay with you guys. Uh, and if you enjoy that stuff, subscribe and find me on instagram at the name is jeanette all right guys thank you guys again i wish your kiddos a fantastic back to school and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye